Corrigan Brown with Project Locker, and today I'll be telling you how to import your Subversion repository into Project Locker for the first time. Most users of Subversion have files in one of three formats when they first come to Project Locker. You may have a set of files in a directory that you have never put into version control or that you're transferring from another version control system. You might have a URL to another provider's repository or to a repository you were hosting via web server yourself. Or you may have a dump file, uh, which is a subversion uh, compressed dump of all the information, all the history. If you have a list of flat files and you're importing for the first time, then you don't need to use the Project Locker tools at all to import. You can simply use SVN import command from your subversion client. This command is documented in more detail at svnbook.red-bean.com. If, however, you have a dump file or a URL, Project Locker has tools that can help you get your repository uploaded uh, without a lot of difficulty. So let's take a look at Project Locker Portal. As you can see, I'm ready to log in. So I log into my Project Locker Portal account. I then go to the project that I wish to import, so I click Projects, and I already have created my Subversion Upload project. I just created that using the New Project button a little bit earlier. Uh, so now I can go to Edit Properties, uh, click my little gear icon, I can see SVN Actions, and there are a few things I can do with my Subversion repository. I want to add code to Project Locker for the first time. So I click Add Code to Project Locker, and here I see a number of choices. So I can take files from Bitbucket. Uh, I can take files from another Subversion server. That's the URL that I talked about earlier. I can take files from a dump file, .dump file. It can either be compressed or uncompressed. And I can also take files from a folder on my computer. Uh, we recommend that you use SVN import if you're importing files from a folder on your computer for the first time. But we do support it because some customers we found have uh, tried to import that. And we would like to make things easier for them. So let's say that I'm trying to pull files from another Subversion server. In this case, I would just enter the URL. So, then I would enter my login information. And I would hit Migrate Repository to Project Locker. And that's it. Uh, I just wait a few hours. I should get an email um, letting me know when the repository has been uploaded. And once that repository is uploaded successfully, uh, I will see all the revision history, all the information that was in that other repository in my account. Now, let's say that we wanted to upload a dump file from another Subversion repository instead of using a URL. So we have that dump file. Uh, we can just click the dump file link. We can then go to pick file. And as you can see, we have a lot of choices. We can upload from box.com, Dropbox, FTP, Google Drive, WebDAV. We can upload from another URL if there's a file at a specific URL. Um, and we can just upload right from the computer. So I look here and I can pick my dump file. I choose it, tells me the size of it. It's going to start uploading it, and when it's completely uploaded, I'll have the option to send that to the server. So a few minutes later, we can see that the file is fully uploaded, and I can just simply hit the Upload button, transfer it to my server. My upload has been scheduled, and I'll wait for my email just as I did with the URL. So that's it. Uh, what we've shown you is how to upload your Subversion repository from any other provider, from your server that you're hosting yourself, or from a dump file archive that you have uh, into Project Locker. So you can do that quickly and easily. And if you have any questions, please contact us at support at projectlocker.com, and someone can help you get that repository going. Happy coding.